EPT4 is still the undisputed king of agent LLMs. So if you happen to build autonomous agents, AI autonomous agents, you need an LLM as the backend and GPT-4 seems to be way, way far ahead of every other LLMs that are available. How did we get to know this? And that is exactly what this video is about. There is a new benchmark called agent bench. Like until now, there is not a good evaluation metric or good evaluation strategy to evaluate LLMs as agents. All the existing benchmarks, if you see MMLU and all the other benchmarks are around asking LLMs some question and making them answer and comparing it with either humans or other LLMs. But there is not been a single or there is not a prominent benchmark or evaluation test that would evaluate an LLM as an agent. But given that we are in the world of, let's say, Auto GPT and Baby AG and all these other agents, it makes sense to have a dedicated benchmark that would measure the performance of LLMs as agents. And that is exactly what Agent Bench does. Agent Bench is an open source project and it is available they have launched a project, they have launched a paper, they have released everything. So what they have done is they have created a couple of environments and couple of challenges and they are measuring LLMs based on these scenarios. First of all, what are these benchmarks and what are these environments or what are these challenges? So there are eight diverse environments that these researchers created to measure the LLM as an agent. So what are these environments? One is an operating system. Second one is a database. Third one is a knowledge graph and the fourth one is a digital card game. The fifth one is householding and the sixth one is lateral thinking puzzles and the seventh one is web shopping and the eighth one, the final one is web browsing. So what they are trying to do is they are making these LLMs act as agents in these environments, solving real world challenges. For example, one of the challenge here is you go to the bash terminal on Ubuntu and then you recursively set all the files in the directory to read only except those of mine. So this is a task that has been given to the LLM and the LLM in this case, like all these LLMs that are trying to be benchmarked will have to perform this task and then it is being measured against it. The other real world challenge, for example, is given the MySQL APIs and existing ta tables, grade students over 60 as pass in the table. So how does the LLM perform in this scenario? So like this, they've got all these different scenarios. In fact, like they've got this web browsing scenario or web shopping on the official website of an airline, book the cheapest flight from Beijing to Los Angeles in the last week of July. So they, they have given all these challenges and they've created all these environments and they're trying to make this LLM as an agent. And the result is stunning and surprising and that is why GPT-4 is still the undisputed king of LLMs as agents. So if you see GPT-4, it's like way, way, way far ahead of the second position Claude and then GPT-3.5 Turbo and then Text DaVinci OO3, then Claude Instant, then Text DaVinci OO2, Text Bison OO1, Chat GLM2, Open G Chat 13 billion parameter. So you can see a huge gap between the top model of open source and also the top commercial model like GPT-4. The, the, the difference is huge in terms of the average score that you, if you see. But instead of looking at the average scores, if you look at all the scores like that are available here, you would see an interesting aspect here. Like again, like you've got all these eight things, like you've got the operating system, you've got the DB, you've got the web browsing, you've got the web shopping, you've got all these things. Across almost every single environment, GPT-4 has completely crushed everybody else. It's not even comparable, but there are certain places where you know you could see that GPT-4 and Claude does not have a huge difference, but in almost every single case, GPT-4 has completely crushed except in web shopping, GPT 3.5 Turbo has done really pretty well. So the point here is that if you happen to build an agent or if you happen to build an autonomous AI system where you want the LLM to be the core and LLM communicates or LLM becomes this point of contact for other agents to communicate with, I think it's a no brainer to build this with GPT-4. The good thing is this entire code is open source. You can go ahead and then try to run it by yourself, but you need like all these keys um, for all these LLMs to do that. Uh, what is also quite surprising is like every time there is an open source library that gets launched, always it has been like, oh, this has beaten this GPT-4 in this benchmark. This has beaten GPT-3.5 in this benchmark. I mean, it's, it's possible that they might be doing really good, 
but it is nowhere closer to what a GPT-4 or a GPT-3.5 is doing. For example, if you take this particular benchmark, which is Agent Bench, and if you take Operating System as one of the benchmark environments, if you see the best open source model, Wizard LM 30 billion parameter model has scored 14 points while GPT-4 is 36. Look at the difference. It's huge. If you notice, if you are not comparing it with the best one, let's say you don't want to compare everything with GPT-4, then you actually have a good shot at uh, with the open source models like for example this has scored better than the Claude model if you take another test let's say you take db as an example gpt4 has scored 33 that's fine but everything other than gpt4 is below 16 and you can see that the best open source model wizard lm 13 billion parameter model has scored already 13 so the gap is not huge so if you take gpt4 or in fact gpt 3.5 turbo out of the picture then there is a good shot with open source models especially like the wizard models and all the llama models that we have got but if you keep gpt4 in the picture i think gpt4 completely crushes every other single llm that is available then these llms are being used as an agent like they are supposed to solve a task not necessarily answer questions it again is a testament to what kind of things that OpenAI has put inside gpt4 and it is also a matter of fact that the work in open source world is not complete yet because there is not a single model that is available for us that can match the overall capacity of gpt4 because like we have certain areas where as open source model can be closer to gpt4 but if you look at overall the reasoning and the logical reasoning capabilities and um, you know the overall general capabilities of gpt4 i still think that gpt4 is completely unbelievably at the top somewhere where nobody could reach it and this is a great example of that i link this link and also the project link in the youtube description so that you get to know like what is happening and what kind of test that they did but it is a very encouraging paper to see that now we have got a benchmark to evaluate llms as agents and I think this is going to go further with a lot of people building autonomous systems and the agents where LLMs will be the back end or core of the system. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.